Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Lainey. Today we are going to do a Q&A video. I never ever ever do Q&A videos. I never vlog. I never really talk about myself outside of fashion. So I thought it'd be fun to just kind of have a life update with you guys because a lot of things have been changing in my life. I want to talk about it with you guys, I guess. There's still going to be a lot of fashion questions in this video because that's just what you guys end up asking, which I like better, honestly. So I put a Q&A thing on my Instagram and that's where you guys ask questions. If you guys ever want to just DM me and ask me these questions, my Instagram DMs are always open and I try to answer as many as I can. Before we get into this video though, I want to say thank you so much to Lululemon for sponsoring this video. Can you guys believe that? That's kind of crazy for me to say. We'll get into that later though. So I screenshotted the questions and let's just get into it. So I guess the first question that I screenshotted says, how do you overcome anxiety when it comes to wearing unique outfits? And I kind of touched on this in one of my like mindful fashion videos. I used to have a lot of issues wearing like crazy outfits out in public or outfits that I thought I really liked and that I wanted to wear that I would love to like shoot in on Instagram but when it came to day to day life or wear on YouTube but it, when it came to day to day life I didn't want to wear them. That's when I realized the reason I wasn't feeling confident and comfortable in them wasn't because I live in a like small town where people don't dress up. Um, I honestly felt the same way in Chicago. It was because I didn't feel like myself. Now I wear just what I personally love it doesn't have to be that crazy it's just what I automatically like and I feel confident no matter what um, people can look at it like I'm dressing out there but I feel so good in it and so confident in it that I'm not even thinking about what other people are saying so if you bought a top and you're like I never wear this top but I love it so 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 much think about why you like it is it were you influenced did you see someone else wear it is it really you though and what's stopping yourself from wearing those pieces out in public most of the time it's you're not comfortable in it because it's not you you're gonna be comfortable in clothes that feel like yourself not trying to be somebody else next question I got so many questions about Brandon which honestly blew my mind because I feel like YouTube maybe you guys don't know about Brandon as much because I don't really talk about him or show him that often but I post about Brandon all the time on Instagram Brandon's my boyfriend so somebody said please tell us everything about you and Brandon how you met first date falling in love Brandon and I went to the same school I think starting in fifth grade he had really curly hair and like everybody in the school knew him as noodles that was his nickname so I knew of Brandon like in fifth grade right when we went to the same school that was about it I thought he was cute but I never talked to him and then we started hanging out in the same friend group like junior year of high school and that's when he found out I existed which always makes me laugh that like I've known Brandon since fifth grade but he did not know I was a person until junior year of high school. Sorry if anything changed my camera died. So we were hanging out in the same friend group all the time and we were just friends nothing more than that. We would go like to our friends cottages together and that was about it. At the beginning of senior year of high school we went to my friend's cottage for the day before school started and all of us decided to go skinny dipping in the lake so we all went skinny dipping and we swam out to this like dock and I don't really remember how it happened but somehow it ended up where only Brandon and I were on the dock together and everybody else swam back and we stayed out on this dock floating in the middle of the lake literally till the sun rose and we just talked and it was so like precious to me because we literally were just skinny dipping and we did not touch each other we didn't kiss we didn't cuddle there was probably like a foot of space in between us and we were just talking and i think that's when like i honestly fell in love with him because it was just so different than other high school boys who would have like been gross and brandon was just a real person and like i love i love that story i think it's so cute um but we've been dating for six years now we'll go Going on seven which is insane so that's how Brandon and I met first date and fell in love it was all like within 
two seconds of each other. <laughs> uh, will you ever move back to Chicago? No. I've realized I don't like the city. I like visiting the city and Jackson, my brother, still lives there. So it's really nice to be able to go like on a weekend with the girls or with Brandon and just visit. I don't need to live there. Ernie doesn't need to live there. I like to have my own privacy and space. Also, Shoshi still lives there. So I like to go back and visit her as well. So this one, I laughed at this question. It says your dream bag and then how you and Brandon make it work in super long-term relationship. Um, I thought that was funny for some reason. My dream bag, I don't really have one, honestly. Is that weird? I love all the Vivian Westwood bags, but that's just because I'm a Nana fan. I don't know. I'm like looking up at my bags and I like all my bags. There's not a bag I want right now. I'm sure that'll change in a month. Then how you and Brandon make it in a super long-term relationship. Um... Should we call him? Let's see if he answers. This will be the true test of how we make it. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Okay, wait, that was funny. So I would say communication. We always talk to each other, always each answer each other's phone calls, texts. I'm just joking. That's probably how we made it work, though, is we are our own people. Everything we do doesn't have to be with each other or involving each other. The choices we make, career choices, where we live. I lived in Chicago for a year without Brandon there. And I think that's what's so important is being your own people, but still having respect for each other. If something is bothering you, either of us we're always there to listen to each other and make changes in our relationship if needed. But I'd say the biggest thing is you have to be your own person and you have to have your own hobbies or career or friends even. Not all your friends have to be intertwined. Don't always think of you and your partner as like a unit. You are your two own individual people and I think that's really really important. Brandon literally lets me, that sounds stupid, but we let each other like go out at night without us always being there or go away for the weekend or like I was going on these girls trips with just like Ava and drove a bus to New York and it's like Brandon doesn't get mad about that. I know that seems like really um, bare minimum. I know so many girls whose boyfriends would like throw a hissy fit or like get pissed about those kind of things and that's messed up you guys next question what's up with toby if you guys don't know i have a bus a mini bus hi ernie if you guys didn't know i have a mini school bus that came with the name toby and i was planning on like living in <laughs> I was planning on living in Topi with Brandon like this whole winter and we were going to travel around the US. My goal this winter was to not see snow and I'm looking at my window and I see snow. So Toby only did really two trips I would say. I took him all the way to New York City with my friend Ava. We literally drove through the mountain ranges and he was fine. Like, he overheated once, but I caught it in time where I let him just, like, chill out. I knew he was going to overheat up and down the mountains, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, and then after that, I took him back to the shop and got a lot of work done again. It was probably, like, a $2,000 bill after that. I don't even want to say how much money I've put into Toby altogether because it's actually, like, would make me throw up. But, so that $2,000 bill was after we thought, like, he was completely road ready. We kept, like, asking the shop like is he road ready you just make him road ready and they said he was and kind of to an extent he was um before that i took him to hocking hills ohio which is again kind of like hilly um more hilly than michigan and that was for one night so it was barely a trip and then my boyfriend and i brandon and i toby to muskegon and we didn't even stay the night because it was so hot and we didn't have solar yet, I don't think, so we couldn't have fans, and you can't run the AC at night. And then my dad and I, three or four weeks ago, we were gonna just take um, Toby up the side of Michigan because all the colors were changing and we just wanted to do like that drive where you drive through all the colors. And we drove two hours, we were in Muskegon, Toby was fine, and then we took a break, we ate lunch, and then we left again, and about 30 minutes or an hour into the drive, I'm driving him on the expressway and I see my speedometer start going down and I was like, what's happening? Like, pop, what's happening? And he's looking, he's like, you gotta pull over, gotta pull over. I completely lost all, um, power 
power, I guess, like the engine turned off or it stalled or whatever. He was overheating, but we were on complete flat land, which made no sense. We pull over, he's not starting, like we open the hood of it, the oil was fine, but the windshield wiper fluid like boiled over and like exploded. And we were stuck for the night. We were stuck on the expressway. Luckily, we were like 20 feet away from a rest shop. And after like sitting on the side of the expressway, the shoulder of the expressway for like an hour and a half for two hours. So we started up and we crawled to the rest stop and then we slept there for the night and then we got a tow truck and towed it to a shop nearby. We left it there thinking we would be back the next weekend to pick it up and Toby is still stuck there. Toby is stuck two, three hours, three hours away from my house right now. And I haven't seen Toby in three weeks and we really haven't gotten any info from the mechanic there just that they like started to look at it not too long ago so honestly that whole trip was like really traumatizing because we've put so much time and effort into Toby and everything my dad and I did like the interior of the bus and even some mechanic things that we did is perfect it's what we like took him in to get fixed is what's not working and that's what's so frustrating for us is like we thought we were doing everything right and we were like the solar panels work the um like electricity like all of that stuff works and then he just doesn't drive when we bought him on facebook marketplace it's clear now that the guy who sold it to us lied about everything the speedometer on toby does not work it hasn't been counting miles for god knows how long so we have no idea how many miles are on it honestly what's probably going to have to happen is he, toby's gonna need a new engine and that's gonna be a ton of money and i'm just sick of sinking money into this bus <laughs> probably never gonna trust it driving it anywhere like further than four hours where somebody can't come pick me up my mom had to come pick me and my dad up when toby got stuck and if i'm in florida with toby and he stops working and i'm with ernie i can't just like hop on a plane from florida like i'd have to rent a car and drive back and then drive there like i don't know you guys toby is not looking so hot honestly i want to sell him because i'm so fed up with it like can you tell I'm getting emotional? <laughs> I don't really know what we're gonna do yet. I don't think my parents wanna sell him, but they also haven't been through like, <laughs> I'm acting like a baby. They haven't been like driving with him and having that stress of like him just stopping and not working and you're stuck in the middle of God knows where. Luckily it's like everything's in Toby. So we like knew he was gonna stall out at one point. I just didn't think it would be on the first trip ever where he's like done and it's basically solidified like I will never be able to take him to like Colorado or California or Utah or anywhere on the west side because I can't get through the mountains with him. So like what's the point of me having a bus that I can live in to go three hours away from my house? That's where I'm at right now and selling him like it wouldn't even be like we sell him and we're scamming the next people because we put so much time and money into this bus like whoever buys it would only have to put and this is if we don't fix it ourselves like a couple thousand dollars into it and he will be perfect it's i'm traumatized by this bus so that's up with toby i'm sorry that was a really long time okay next question what's your workout routine you guys ask me this all the freaking time my workout routine is i walk ernie but i walk ernie a lot a lot a lot we probably walk like four miles a day maybe that doesn't seem like a lot to most people um in chicago it seemed like nothing but when i'm at in the suburbs it seems like a lot because it's boring but whenever i'm walking ernie i'm always wearing lululemon i've been wearing lululemon since middle school when i used to dance i would wear it to bar class when i went to that i'd wear it to hot yoga and now i wear it walking i'm getting ready to take ernie out on a walk it's my room of disaster and I wanted to show you the little lemon outfit I'm wearing. So first we have this cropped crew neck. It's honestly the softest material I've ever felt in my whole life. I haven't stopped wearing it since I got it. I love the super boxy fit of it, but that it doesn't like come super long down. I love the big sleeves. And then I got these leggings that I wear all the time working out. They're the Align leggings and I think they're the 5 8 length. I love this like army sage green color. So freaking adorable. Again, haven't stopped wearing them. And then this vest 
also from Lulu. The length of both of these are so good. I love this vest with how like square and boxy it is again. It's absolutely adorable. Since I'm just walking Ernie and I want to stay warm, I just keep my little Uggs on with it. But I used to wear like this outfit without the puffer vest all the time to like bar class. When I used to dance, this was my literal go-to uniform, and then hot yoga I would do it with like a Lululemon sports bra, and their pieces have just like never done me wrong, so this is what my uniform is for any time I'm doing exercise, and now my exercise is just walking Ernie. Yeah, check out the link in the description box though if you want to shop any of these pieces. This is not the first or the last time you are going to see these products. You know, you've seen them in a million of my other videos. I'm not even going to lie. When I got this package, I wore this outfit for, I think, like three days straight because it was so comfy. If you guys want to shop Lululemon, I'll have a link in the description box. So make sure to check them out. That's what I'm always wearing no matter what my workout routine is. Next question, did you go to college? Yes, I graduated from Grand Valley State University in 2020 with a journalism degree. Next question, do you want to get married? Again, it was a lot of questions about me and Brandon. Um, I mean, I definitely want to have a party <laughs> and wear like a wedding dress. I guess if I have kids, I'd get married, but like I'm in literally no rush and I do not care. I think my dream wedding, if like I have a wedding, would be like in my house and have just like a party. So no wedding until I have a house. Somebody said, how old are you? I never really knew. I'm 23. I turned 23 in October. Uh, somebody asked, equipment you use for YouTube. Also, any tips for someone starting out? So right now I'm using a Sony camera. I'll have it here because I can't remember. And then I have a little mic attached. I'll link all of this stuff down below because I'm not very um, tech savvy when it comes to this stuff. Tip for starting out, just use your phone. Do not buy a camera. It is not worth it at all. When I started YouTube, I used my phone and I told myself I wasn't going to buy a camera until like YouTube paid for it so my first AdSense check I went and I bought a camera but I think if you're not making money yet on YouTube there's literally no reason like don't waste your money phone cameras are so good now tip for starting out though is think about the content you want to post what isn't already out there and I feel like that sounds a little um, hypocritical for me to say because there are so many fashion accounts already it might be that I'm just hyper fixated on myself like everyone else is but to me, my outfits are different than what everyone else is putting out online. And I think the people who are doing really well in the fashion world, like, they have their own really unique sense of style. I'm not saying that mine's unique, but it's, like, basic and people like that, too. Every time I put out a video, though, it's for people to learn something. And I think that's really, really important. Vlogs are really fun, but I think it's super hard to get started that way. Um, I think it's a lot easier to start vlogs when people already know your character and are interested in your life. If I was just a random girl sitting and doing a Q&A, I don't think you guys would really care to listen. It's because we already have like a bond and a friendship going. So when you're starting out, definitely make your videos have a purpose. Even if it is just to entertain, like what's going to be different from everybody else's day in my life vlogs or what I eat in a day vlogs. Somebody said we haven't seen Ernie in a while. How is he doing? He's amazing. He's sitting on my bed right now. We just finished our first session of training Motor City K9 in Detroit. They're amazing. We work with Kaya. She's the best. Um, Ernie just went through like basic obedience training and then now tonight actually we are starting his off-leash training. So I'm really excited about that. Ernie was pretty well trained before but he just has confidence issues. Um, he doesn't like to be pet by strangers, and I don't care that he doesn't like to be pet by strangers. I just want him to be able to, like, sit and hold a stay if somebody approaches him and not bark, and he can do that now. Honestly, training is more about, like, training the owner and not the dog. I've learned that I need to step in and fend for Ernie when people want to pet him or get up in his business. Like, I gotta fight him off, not Ernie. <laughs> Are you going to be doing any more room makeover videos or DIY room projects? I know you guys have been missing these videos and honestly me too. I was kind of having a burnout after the bus because I was working so much like manual labor on the bus. But also I just didn't have anything else to redo. I wasn't moving. I still live in my parents' house. If all works out, I will be having a studio space soon which is really really exciting and that is going to need a major 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 makeover and that will be a series on my channel that I'm 
I'm really excited about so look out for that. Next question are you gonna stay in Michigan? I think for right now all my friends are here and my family's here um, and I realized when I moved to Chicago and it was just me and Jackson and then Shoshi because I met her I was lonely and I need people to like bully me to go out or I won't go out. Somebody asked what film camera do you use? I'll link it down below. It's a Minolta Speed Action Zoom and I use the Kodak film because it's warmer tone than the Fuji film. Um, it's just a reusable point and shoot, like autofocus, super easy camera. Um, I really recommend it though. I'm in love with it and I got it for like 40 bucks on eBay and then I thrifted the second one. I have two now because I'm crazy. Somebody asked, are you getting more tattoos? And I got a lot of questions about the stories behind my tattoos. Um, I'm sure I will get more. I don't think my dad wants to hear about, but I'm sure I will. I just don't have any in mind right now. I have, well, should I go in order? I have this little flame tattoo that my dad drew. I had really bad like anxiety when I was in like first, second, third, fourth grade and I never wanted to go to school. So my dad would draw in this little notebook and put it in my lunch bag and every day he'd draw something funny. So I had to, it to look forward to at lunch. Um, I still have it to this day and it's literally so cute and this flame is from one of those pages in the book. Then my second tattoo. Which one was second? I think it was this one. This is my dog Duncan. He was my first dog. Some people can't tell that that's a dog. I mean, I drew it, so. I don't have an Ernie tattoo yet, so like obviously that will happen one day. And then I have this tattoo. That's a red heart with a arrow through it and it says mom. Obviously for my mom. Um, and then my brother has the mom tattoo and the flames tattoo also. So I have matching tattoos of Jackson, but his are in different spots and black. And then I have super, super tiny. This is a seven and 11 because I love Slurpees. Um, my birthday is October 7th and Brandon's is October 11th and we always say like 7-Eleven and those are our lucky numbers. So I decided to get 7-Eleven on my arms. And Brandon doesn't have them though, just me. <laughs> so not really matching, but that's okay. I don't need him to match me. He has tattoos already for me and for Duncan. No Ernie ones yet, but I feel like that'd be really fun. Maybe in Vlogmas, I'll have Brandon go through all his tattoos. He's got really goofy ones. He's got a milk jug on his belly. He has a Lego guy in a hot dog costume. He has funny tattoos. So maybe I can get him to do that for you guys. Someone asked, have you ever considered getting anything done? Um, and I think they mean like cosmetic stuff. I got my eyebrows microbladed like three years ago and I liked it. Um, it was just from being really insecure though. So I don't really care anymore <laughs> uh, about that kind of stuff. I've like just been a lot more confident since then. So I don't think I'd ever get anything else done. I literally, I just do not care. And that's all the questions I'm gonna answer today because I feel like that was a lot. I hope you guys just have a better understanding of me and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I actually had fun doing this because normally I struggle a lot talking by myself, but I made myself drink a lot of coffee before, so I would want to chit chat with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video though. Thank you again to Lululemon for sponsoring this video. I'm going to have the links to everything I wore from Lululemon in the description box. Remember to check them out. Any kind of workout gear. I love you guys the absolute most. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to because your girl is going to try and do Vlogmas. So if you want to see more of me, you can watch that. There's going to be house hunting, Ernie training, knitting tutorials, outfits of the day. I'm going to take you on dates with me and Brandon. So hopefully more Brandon. There's going to be a lot of things. You guys are going to like it. That's it. I love you so much and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.